My name is Joe Mercado and I'm part of the Latinx community because I'm a Latina female. My name is Matilde Sanchez and I identify as Latina. How do you feel about people assuming all Latinos are from Mexico? Well, being um, someone who is from a Mexican family, and my parents are from Mexico, sometimes I even forget that when I'm referring to another Latino um, friend or just person, I forget that they're not all Mexican and that's terrible on my part, but I am very self-conscious because I would hate for someone to identify me as Honduran or Salvadorian or Puerto Rican or something because we aren't all from Mexico. Is Latinx representative of both male and female Latinos? Um, from my very recent understanding, Latinx is representative of everybody in the community, not just people that identify as female and male. Um, I'm going to answer that with a no because Latinx is uh, representing all types of genders and identities in the Latino or Latinx community. Um, it's just to make it easier for those that don't identify just as males and females. It's to make our community one and include everyone. Do you feel accepted in this country? Do you ever feel underprivileged or discriminated against because of your skin color? Um, sometimes I don't feel accepted in this country just because like our president right now made very weird remarks and racist in my opinion and that makes me feel like, uh, I, does he want us here, does he not, like, um, and do I feel underprivileged? Um, I think there are people who feel way more underprivileged than I do, like I am very privileged to be where I am, to get a queen, like a private school, like I feel privileged. But I know that other people face like um, different difficulties and obstacles. Well, I grew up very differently in comparison to other Latinx community members and a lot of my friends. I grew up in Catholic schools, which is private, so I grew up with a lot of uh, white students. And then I went to a small public school that was a little bit more diverse and I didn't encounter any issues. So growing up, I was conscious of the difference in my skin color and my culture, but I assimilated to an American culture and I didn't focus on my culture at all until I got to college when I finally met more people and found that I didn't necessarily fit in with just one group. And this was the first time where I actually experienced racism because of certain comments done through an election and comments that were done to me specifically and it really really hurt me and that's when I kind of realized like oh Joe things aren't all rainbows and sunshines there's real real problems out there and sometimes I do not feel a part of this community here but because we've grown in diversity I do feel like I've found myself a little bit better um, country wise I don't know I'd like to say yes because it's my home, but I'm not really sure. And I can't remember the rest of the question. <laughs> One of the questions submitted on the questionnaire was Hola Papi. What do you think about this? So one of the questions submitted was Hola Papi. Well, one, that's actually pretty rude. Um, especially if you're asking about questions, that's not a question. And as much as it can be funny, it's almost racist because one, you're assuming that this person is speaking Spanish. Two, hola papi is usually used in a sexual tone, so I don't know what the point of that was. So I don't think that was appropriate and it's kind of rude. I think people say that a lot, trying to pick up girls or trying to pick up guys and using hola mami. It's not attractive, it's very rude, it's very racist, and it's stereotypical.